I feel like he's got an identity crisis. Ah. Go get it. He acts more like a dog. Yeah, you get it. Ah. Oh, thank you. Well, ah. come here. I'm Lynette, and this is Walter's story for GeoBeats. I'm a veterinarian. Well, come up into your perch. We are located on the Gold Coast in Australia. Well, come here. In Walter's case, a man actually brought him in saying that he had found this baby crow. He was very malnourished. So we asked the general question, did you leave him in a safe spot away from dogs and cats and just see if the parents would come down to feed him? And unfortunately, the parents had just completely rejected him. Do you have a friend? No. So I decided, oh, you know what, I'll take him home to raise him while he was unable to fly and fend for himself. Whoa. He wouldn't really walk much. He was still sort of sitting on the back end of his legs. Walter. As a baby, he was getting fed every two to three hours. He got very close to one of our dogs. We'd let them both into the backyard and they'd sort of just take care of each other. Your sunbathing really weird. Once he started to grow his wings out a bit, we did try and do a bit of flight training. Walter. <laughs> and tried to release him. He didn't want to go. And now he's here every day. We did have to soft release him sort of into our yard. <laughs> Whoa. We have an acre property down here on the coast, so he was able to go around and be his normal self. I will. He's been free range ever since. Don't eat the passion fruit. <laughs> Walt. Every now and then he will wander off property, but he does always tend to come home at night. Good time. <laughs> Ah. I mean, the ones that are obviously deemed able to return back to the wild, we will try and find places for them so they can be rehabilitated back to the wild. That's the main goal. We don't keep them as pets, and Walter, although he hangs around, technically is not a pet. Ah. He's just an annoying wild bird. Ah. You live outside. Ah. Ah. Outside. Outside. Ah. That's where you live. Ah. Pretty much every morning, he, where our bedroom window is, will just start singing or pecking at the glass, which is the worst habit ever. Walt, I'm up. I'm up. And generally, that seems to be at around 6.45 in the morning. And if I'm not in the bed or I'm decided to sleep on the couch, he will find the window where the couch is and go for that. He wants to come in the house. You're a bird. So he's pretty smart at finding me. He can sort of follow my voice. If I call him, he will just appear out of somewhere. If I went outside right now, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to find him. Whoa! Ah. Oh, he's right here. I can hear him. Where are you? Ah. Oh, he's literally on my bedroom ah. ledge. He's about 10 months now. Do you have to sunbathe on my shoulder? He is probably a raven, but we named him Scraggly Crow because he looked really, really scraggly up until he was maybe about nine months. Even now, his tail feathers do look a little bit jagged. He's pretty much almost fully grown. He's got good primary flight feathers. He technically should be able to fly, but he sort of just hops around. <laughs> You're an idiot. Our dog, Mouse, she's very gentle and does love to play with him. Mouse. Out of the two of them, Walt is definitely the more dominant one. So if I'm trying to feed one of them a biscuit, Walt will definitely win. Why are you playing? We do, however, have another dog, a Kelpie Cross Husky, and Walt knows not to come near him at all. So he knows what the safe zone is between different dogs. He got a stolen from you. I would say he probably thinks he's a dog. We get other crow species in our yard. He never seems to chat back to them. I feel like I'm Mama Bird. Uh, uh, I'm not feeding you. Uh, and he's essentially like an adult child who doesn't want to move out. Give me back the grape. I know you didn't swallow it. Give it back. He'll steal things. Like he loves stealing car keys. If I put them on the floor for two seconds, he's picked them up. Give it. Give me the great yes. Then I'm trying to chase this bird around the yard and people think we're crazy, probably. Uh, drop. Uh, drop. Uh, Go get it. Uh, we try not to eat outside because he will steal everything. He's stolen bits of bread right from the plate. He does show mating behaviours. Like sometimes he'll put his neck down and wag his tail like excited. Uh, well, uh. 
A lot of people say they will generally bring gifts. He will bring us big pieces of bark or rocks. So I guess I count as a bit of a gift. Well, I said to my husband, wouldn't it be nice if he brought me money? The only problem is because he can't fly, the only real money he could steal would be our money. <laughs> the finer things in life. As much as of a wild bird as he is, I do love him lots and I do get worried if he sort of strays a bit too far or I can't find him, but he does seem to hang around, which is good. What should I do, babe? I don't know, but Walt's stealing my shoes again. Ah. You're a terrible guard dog. I would love for Walt to have his own family one day, but to be honest, I think if he was lucky enough to find a family, he would have a kid and all three of them would live in our backyard and be <laughs> singing at our window every morning at six o'clock in the morning. Ah. Ah.